Thank you, Father God, that we can know you and that we can come before you through the blood of Christ. Thank you, Father, for the cross. Thank you for the way made possible for us to come to you with Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. For him dying on the cross, Lord, so that we have the opportunity to repent. Thank you that through our prayer and our expression through prayer, we can come and in our repentance have the capacity to turn around, repent by turning around from that that was not accurate in your sight, for all the sinful fleshly ways. Thank you that we have the opportunity through the cross, not just the day when we gave our lives to you, Lord, but every day as we grow into more of you, less of us. Let it be so even as now we choose, as in this, at this moment, this will be so for our lives, that there will be more of you, less of us, because of the power of the word of the cross in our lives. Thank you that through prayer we are challenged to come into the place of honesty, to walk honest with honesty before you, Lord, that we will walk in the light. God, as that is the foundation in our repentance before you, that we will own up for to that what we have done. Forgive us for that, Lord, but thank you that we don't have to sit in condemnation, but in our prayer we can have an utterance, we can find a strategy to come to you. Thank you, God, for your help, even as we cry out to you for help in prayer, that you will really help us to lay down our lives, to give ourselves, not destroy our lives, but deny ourselves by finding our life through the cross in Christ Jesus, your Son. We honor you for that, Father, and we thank you that you will help us in a practical way how to lay down our lives, even as we speak to you in the day. Help us that we will understand how prayer can facilitate and help us to facilitate the laying down of our lives. We find a strategy to be set free, a strategy to be set free with people praying for us. God and I pray for every man, woman that needs that need a f uh, deliverance, a freedom in this season. God, that they will find a brother and a sister that can pray for them, even if it's through the phone, through whatever means that they can find a way. God, that freedom will be there, that our prayers will be accurate to set nations free. That deliverance will be out there through the strategy of prayer. Set that in my life, Lord. Help me to understand the power of prayer in me and through my life, the authority on my lips as I utter prayer so that people can be delivered too, so that cities can be set free, so that nations have the freedom to come before your throne through the blood of Christ. But set us free, Lord. Thank you that you have given us a strategy through prayer, that we can say, be set free in the name of Jesus Christ. In my own life, I will be set free from everything, every temptation, weakness, everything that's not from you, every sin that wants to keep me in a place of bondage. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am free. And thank you, Father, that I can speak it forth, but look unto you in prayer as I am positioned before your throne that you give me the breakthrough. You give me the breakthrough. Thank you that I can pray for others and that they can pray for me so that we can live in a place of total freedom to love you and to obey you, that we have that freedom and capacity through your blood. In Jesus' name, so we pray. Amen.